Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Mining Wise Gatforth Plus. I told you you were in good hands on the last episode. I said, don't worry about it, we're gonna get a win. What happened? Got ourselves a win. This one, stats could be worse, but could definitely be better. You never want to start a run with 15 rate of fire, even if you do have 4.29 damage. Um, and we got another run that's a little bit uh, money manipulative. You know, we got Magic Fingers this time instead of Midas Touch. Magic Fingers is definitely a C or D tier spacebar item. But it's not unusable. At least not in all situations. I totally forgot. That one's on me. Would I have still taken the virus if I would remembered that it's .1 speed down? Absolutely. Should I? It's debatable. Um, our luck is nearly one right off the bat. So I'm going to say that uh, assuming that does control some level of HP, I think we're in the right. It really just depends on your, your stomach here. Because I'm tempted to walk into these guys. The only thing stopping me from walking into these guys is that I think we might encounter a room that has even more enemies later. And if we encounter a room with even more enemies, I'd rather use my HP there. Alright, so... Secret room access, also very nice. What I mean is, if I walk into them, we get, uh, you know, access to the virus's chance to give us a demon heart, but we do have to kill them. Uh, I think while poisoned, or possibly after they're poisoned, it'll still apply. I'm not sure. Either way, we're spinning our wheels. What we should do is just dodge enemies. I'm trying to overcomplicate things a little bit here. Did you have to be on fire and the champion that deflects bullets? Like, it, I'm not upset. You know, the 4.29 damage does a lot to cut any, uh, any ferocity or tension I might be feeling. It's just the, I hate seeing you take liberty of other seeds, or of other people that might be playing this seed. You know, I gotta stand up for my viewers, and I just think it's a little bit unfair that you would uh, hit them with that combination right out the gate. So an HP upgrade, extremely useful. Whoops. If I could, tr I don't know, it's so dicey to walk into you and try to kill you to get a demon heart. I, I don't think we're gonna do it. You'll have to forgive me, this is NL After Dark. Uh, yesterday was the earliest sunset. I don't know if it changes uh, depending on where you are in the world. You know, I know that there's like the winter equinox or... Well, in the in the winter and summer, it's the solstice, right? The longest day and the shortest day. And then in the autumn and the spring, it's a it's a, an equinox. And that's... is that correct? It's the... Like the midpoint of the season where the days start to become longer versus the... Well, I guess af any day after the solstice they become either longer or shorter. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting in over my head here. Give me PJs and then we'll go back here. Feeling a little bit better about this run now. Um, but also it's late. I mean, well, it's 6.30 p.m. But, you know, it's after the NLSS is what I'm trying to say. So I'm in that NLSS mood and we gotta make sure we... Get our content back to a YouTube-friendly, but still uh, enjoyable kind of position. So I'm going to throw down this Judgment. It's funny how right after I said that, uh, we're going to be a little bit more family-friendly here. We blew up a child. <laughs> but still, that's the game. We play to win the game. Okay. And I got to say, dude, it has been a rich day. I don't want to belabor the point too much. Just suffice to say, you're welcome. <laughs> Your boy paid his quarterly tax installment today. I would never actually say that. Pay my taxes and say you're welcome. Look, this is just quality of life, okay? I think we do want the speed upgrade, even though I went when I accidentally walked into it. KB and Conception can also be fine. Hopefully there's an arcade for us here. You know, paying, paying your taxes, it's... Uh, Different people have different opinions on it, but I'm not too worried about being controversial. You know, it's it's kind of the part of the social contract, you know? Even though I spend most of my time inside of my apartment, you always got to recognize, you know, we had a stretch where we were going to the emergency room, I don't know, maybe like three or four times a year. And, you know, the ability for us to do that without uh, 
paying through the teeth was based on the fact that people like you and me had paid our taxes. But suffice it to say, I mostly I just put a check into an envelope and uh, we need a key. Thank you. Or a stars card, that'll work. Um, we just put a check into an envelope. Well, really, I put a check into an envelope. I'm not saying that it's, you know, my wife didn't contribute. It's more like, you know, I was, I, I woke up so early today, I was like, you know what, I got time to do some errands. Let's, let's mail a check. Because I'm a hundred years old. I don't know, there's just something about sending a letter that I actually have come to like. What happened is that I had to send a letter once. So I bought 12 stamps and a box of envelopes, and now... I still have two stamps left and like 40 envelopes, so every time I have to pay uh, a bill, depending on who it's for, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna use a stamp and an envelope. Plus, gives me an excuse. I went to the, uh, next to the mailbox, there's like a drugstore, but the drugstore is like one of the big chains, so it also sells appliances and stuff like that, so I bought a toaster, because I, uh, I bought bread, I was gonna make avocado toast finally experience what it's like to be peak millennial and then in the morning I was like hey Kate I'm gonna make some avocado toast do you want some and she was like we don't own a toaster and I was like we don't own a toaster and she was like we used to own a toaster but it broke and you threw it out and I went that sounds familiar <laughs> and that's pretty much where the where the conversation stopped so I had to go out and buy a toaster full stop anyway do we know what this is 48 hour energy so I went and I bought a toaster. And I don't know if you guys have the same thing where like, you know, this is not my first time eating toasted foods, but whenever I buy an appliance, my brain is permanently calibrated around like, you know, making $100 a month or something like that for, you know, the, the allowance my parents would give me. Yeah, I got an allowance, okay? I'm not gonna misrepresent myself and say that I, I grew up hard. A lot of kids around me had a much larger allowance. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Probably a lot of kids around me also had no allowance, so we should think about that as opposed to the opposite. Um, we should also probably stop using magic fingers, but it's so satisfying. Um, what was I gonna say? Anyway, so I bought a toaster, and you know, we're, I'm at the point in my life where I'm thinking about more permanent fixtures. Like, I, if I buy a toaster, I'm 30. I don't expect to use that toaster until I'm 80. I think that's a little unreasonable. But I want that toaster to last 10 years. So I walked right past the $20 toasters. I was looking up reviews. I ended up buying a toaster. Let's just say it's high single digits. What are the features involved with this toaster? Um, it's a two slicer, and I'll tell you why. We live in a small apartment. I don't need a four slice toaster. I don't make four slices of toast at any given time. The number of times, you know, my wife and I, I have lived together for five and a half years, something like that. The number of times we have both wanted toast or a sandwich within, uh, you know, a temporally consistent period to one another, is, I could count it on, you know, five fingers. So we don't need a two slice or a four slice toaster. There's a bagel setting. It also has something that I thought was cool. You ever pull your toast out of the toaster and it's not quite done? Or it's not quite to toasted to your liking. So you gotta put it back down, and then you gotta watch it the whole time and be like, okay, that looks where I wanna be. And then you unplug it or hit the button that causes the toast to pop up and you're good to go. This one has a button where if you want it to be toasted a little bit more, you hit this button that says just a bit more, and it gives it another 30 seconds. Pretty slick, huh? Anyway, does this justify the price? I don't know, I'm trying to sell you. Either way. Now that I bought it, I'm like, I'm eating toasted something for every meal. So when I got back, I had avocado toast. And the I gotta be honest, it wasn't all it's cracked up to be. I've had it before in my life, I think I mentioned. Hmm, that's a dangerous choice there. Um, and I like it, but mine was not quite up to snuff. I'm gonna keep working at it, I promise you. You know, uh, I'll, I'll be back with an avocado toast recipe. Part of the problem, the avocado was uh, a little too firm. So it didn't mash right, and I mean, you don't need to know the ifs, ands, or buts. It's also maybe a little over-salted. But anyway, you don't need to know the ifs, ands, or buts. I also used some dried cilantro on it, I'm not sure. You know, it didn't really, it added a little bit of color, but so what? You know, it was a Monday morning breakfast. I don't need, it, the aesthetic of the breakfast doesn't matter to me that much. So I was just like, oh, I wasted like 17 cents worth of spice there. Anyway, but you don't need to know the particulars. And then for lunch, I had like a toasted salami sandwich. 
And because that's what I ate for lunch, like, every day growing up, my brain was like, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. <laughs> that takes me right back to being like seven years old and, you know, my mom packed my lunch and it was a, a sandwich that I accidentally sat on when I was wearing my backpack weirdly so all the bread is super compressed and... You know, it's not even really like three distinct ingredients anymore, it's like one square that's a combination of bread and meat. You've been there. It's like you ever get- you ever take cheese to school with you when you were a kid? And like, on a hot day, it sort of sweats in the lunch pail and it just, uh... It, you know, it, it takes on a different mouthfeel because it's been warmed up by either the sun or your body heat or, you know, the radiator. I gotta be honest with you. I, I have a great af fondness and affinity for that cheese. So I'm going down to five cents just to spare myself a little bit of the, uh, you know, the heartache here. Because this is a long fight, and it is a little tedious right now. Little Haunt is my greatest friend. Anyway, so basically for the next three months, every meal has to be toasted, and then once it's paid for itself, I can forget that it exists. <laughs> we needed a toaster, though. I, you know, I have to admit, I'm happy to have one. Even though until recently, I didn't even know that we didn't have one. Our old one, I, I remember it, as soon as Kate mentioned, I remember it was, you know, you would like, pick it up and move it somewhere, and like, hundreds of little tiny crumbs that had been created in aggregate from the toast that you cooked four decades ago would all fall out, and you'd be like, oh, my bread's toasting in there. Like, are those crumbs getting all moldy and stuff? Yo, we look badass right now. Anyway, you don't even worry about it. I was just spinning you an anecdote. I have to spin you an anecdote because the run, you know, it's not bad. It's, it, I'm starting to realize it's not a bad run of luck or anything like that. It's just that every Isaac run needs something. This one, uh, in particular, for a while it needed speed. Now, it, you know, the glaring issue is definitely, uh, HP. We still got hit. Uh, not HP, sorry, tears. Tears is the number one thing we need. If we can get some HP, that would be fine. Money's good too. Much appreciated. And it really is just, I mean, you know what? Now that I think about it, I... Oh, now that I think about it, uh, Cambian Conception could actually be like a really, really nice get for us. Red hearts, please. You know, we can play that blood bank a little bit more, even if we got an IV bag. I think we'd be okay getting rid of magic fingers. The only thing that hurts me right now is knowing that we have magic fingers, but feeling like I can't use it. In the meantime, I probably use like 30 cents, which is enough to, I mean, it adds up, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I gotta be honest, now that I'm eating this avocado toast, and by that I mean I ate it once today, I'm wondering what the dude was talking about when he said that if you, you know, millennials won't be able to buy a house because they're eating too much avocado toast. It's not the cheapest breakfast under the sun. That's obviously ridiculous. But, you know, a slice of bread and half an avocado, it's not the most expensive breakfast under the sun either. A slice of bread, even like decent bread, I mean, a loaf is like $4 if you're getting half decent stuff here. And it's got like 12 slices in it, so you're paying like 40 cents there. Well, we'll definitely continue to play this, that's no problem. And then, you know, you, you know, we probably aren't making avocado toast with Wonder Bread, is all I'm trying to say. But still, even then, half an avocado is like 55 cents. I, I built in like a little Vancouver premium, because I got them two avocados for three dollars. So I was like, okay. Half an avocado is like 75 cents, and then let's take away the Vancouver premium, and maybe you're a little bit better off. Um, I'm, you're not gonna love this? There we go. That It paid out immediately. I didn't know how far away we were, but I was willing to take a chance on it. We have Leech. Leech is a, you know, if you're gonna get Leech, you'd like to get it early. Please, Leech. This way... Uh, this way it can fuel our future 
blood bank plays to get even more out of KMB and Conception. Like my dude. How? How do you not see this guy? He sees you. Didn't count. Little Haunt got him, maybe. I still, I'm just holding out hope. We're gonna get there. Really, like one rate of fire is gonna take us from 15 to nine rate of fire, I think, and we're gonna be, we're gonna be totally fine. But it might take us a minute to get to that point because we apparently have to find the boss room and it doesn't exist in the etc. and the etc. Anyway. Ah. Anyway, I didn't crunch the numbers too much, but I was starting to think of it in my head and he's like, okay, he's Australian and a house in Melbourne is like, you know, a million dollars, let's say. How many, and wait, well, what is an average, let's say an average avocado toast breakfast is even a dollar fifty. Let's say, let's say two bucks. I think that's overly expensive, but I don't know what the Australian avocados market is like. Maybe you got to import them from Mexico and that could be expensive. And let's say the average cornflake breakfast, you know, you buy a box of cornflakes for four dollars and you can eat it for, let's say, 20 bowls. That's too much. Let's say 10 bowls. It's like a dollar sixty difference per breakfast. Oh, thank you, Leech. How many of those do you have to eat before you can make the difference in salary to buy a one million dollar house? Maybe the avocado toast isn't the problem. Oh, NL, you're being deliberately misrepresented. He was using it as a sign of the excess of the younger generation. I think he's using it as a as a dog whistle. Yo, Spun, let's go. Please, my son. He demands rate of fire increases. We can't take any of those, which is very sad, but still couldn't have taken them. I think it's a dude who owns like six houses and is like, you know, people are mad at speculation. Maybe it, it's not me, it's the avocados, mate. Sorry, I apologize, Australians. Millennial Australians, I probably had you temporarily. You were like, where do I vote for this guy? And then I did that, that just terribly racist impression. <laughs> We didn't sound like that. As New Zealand is. I recognize you. It was like two episodes ago. I was hitting you with the. Uh, you know. I, I'm hitting down on my Commonwealth brethren. The most important thing to remember is that we all get made fun of by Americans. So. Just keep that in mind. I don't want the blue hourglass. I want a rate of fire increase, please. I've given it my all. Um, well, I think we're moving on. This is real unfortunate, but let's take a sip of water and, and continue living our life. Ooh. Let's start here, actually. Let's see what we get. Usually, we play the deal with the devil first. This time... Or not the deal with the devil, the blood bag. And do we have HP? We do, but I'm not willing to go back for it because I'm lazy. Dude, I don't know about this one. I'm doing my darndest, but I got no promises whatsoever here. Here, I gotta adjust my chair too. I've been sitting wrong all day. Hold on, let me get a little lower. Oh, that's the good stuff, all right. There's no point in having a chair that's got all the fancy levers and the, the bells and whistles. If you're not gonna use them. I always go, give me some extra lumbar support. I don't know if it does anything or it just feels like it will do something. All I'm saying, between the avocado toast and the lumbar support, if I don't feel like I'm 25 when I'm 70, I'm gonna get my money back. I'm coming for that money, Herman Miller, with interest. If your company still exists, which it should because it seems to make a high quality product. If companies as a concept still exist, which they might because, I mean, it's worked out so far, I suppose. Now, I'm not thrilled about uh, multi-dimensional baby. I, I hate you. I should have moved or at least kept myself primed to move, but I just like, I'll admit I have a bad habit of being a little bit entitled in Isaac lately. It's born out of 
essentially not playing Eden for a little while, you know, because, I mean, this is a bit of a different story here, but, um, you know, when you play other characters, you never have a run where you have 15 rate of fire this late in the game, unless something went wrong. You know, maybe the Keeper's an exception, but apart from that, um, you know, maybe you picked up an Eve's Mascara, but even if you picked up an Eve's Mascara, you got the double damage to justify the existence of the Eve's Mascara. In this situation... Yo, it could work. In this situation, um, we just have 15 rate of fire because of the luck of the draw. So we don't even, uh, there's no juice. We squeezed the, the orange and all we got out of it was pulp. And I'm not necessarily anti-pulp, but, uh, you know, what am I going to do with all this pulp? I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know, if I got no juice, nobody's just selling pulp. I think. That would be strange. Hey, can I get a bunch of orange tasting fiber, please? I literally just described Metamucil. Is Metamucil just... Yo, have we blown the case wide open? Is Metamucil just uh, the blended pulp from pulpless orange juice after it's been filtered out? That's every part of the buffalo, man. Well, except the peel. I don't know what you use the peel for. Sometimes we get these recipes from Blue Apron, and they're like, zest the whole lime into your meal. And I'm like, no. I'll zest a little bit of a lime. I'm not zesting an entire lime. That's like, all I'm going to taste is pith. And this ain't Kid Icarus. And then I consult the recipe card, and it says Linguini Icarus. And I go, oh, I get it now. You'll have to excuse my verbal, you know, spiraling out of control here. I would really like to uh, talk not nonsense, but simultaneously... I'm just waiting to, like, see if we can get something good. Dude, how long has it been since we fought the gate? So I have a, I have a game plan. It's very simple. When the gate summons minions, I'm going to use magic fingers, at least if they get close to me. And it's going pretty well. No! <laughs> we were so close. I beg you for a tears upgrade, my friend. I beg you for a tears upgrade. My kingdom for a tears upgrade. It's all right. Nothing to fear. The run's still okay. I wouldn't say it's good, but I don't think it's too far off. Provided we can keep our, our finances high, we're not going to have enough money to like donate and buy a bunch of stuff from the shop. But this isn't a run where we necessarily seek to excel. I think this is a run where we seek to survive. And there's two different archetypes, without a doubt. You know, there's runs where you're like, this, uh, this one won't feel like a success unless I donate 80 cents to the donation machine. And then there's runs like this one where I'm like, dude, the only thing that matters on this one is that we increment the uh, the wins counter. So without having a good rate of fire, I'm actually real pleased to see Ludovico technique. Rest assured, I would still... What? I would still love... I don't know what that second tier is doing, by the way. I think it gets created by multi-dimensional, baby. Um, I would still love to get a tiers upgrade. It would really amp up our damage. But we got a ways to go. Every time we get five cents, I'm like the happiest man on the planet. Because that's like two more rooms of actually being able to kill enemies effectively. Trying not to just use them just to use it. Definitely have been guilty of that a couple of times. Yo, that's money. I just like, well, hold on. It's well worth it. I just worry about like where we're going to go from here. Cause like 21 cents is fine. But what are we going to do 
These guys gotta go. Oh. What are we gonna do when it comes to, you know, the womb? We've already been to item room, already been to shop. It's good stuff. You know, I, I don't know. I just feel like we're in the kind of a danger zone. Well, I don't mind if that shot stays at the wall, considering that means that anytime that eye shows up over there, or any of the body parts for that matter, it, it's gonna do damage. Like, it's, it's actually like a lost protector that doesn't move. We do get the slightest bit more damage from Lump of Coal by getting the heck out of the way. Really appreciate the spirit hearts, thank you. Should try to bait this one wall into popping up. Shot speed's real low. Hard for me to get in there. That's fine. Okay. Take the Polaroid. I think we have to take a theme. I definitely don't think black powder is necessary. You might be surprised, but I think this is like... A much, much, much trickier run than our last one. Admittedly, we did become guppy on our last one, but this is like... Lovely. Okay. So I'm gonna blow you up. I really want to deal with the devil chance. I don't even need to mention, I'm sure, that we're still at... Uh, 15 rate of fire. I think that's what gets you on the run. I, I have a theory about, like, Isaac runs. And I say this as somebody who's complained about them a lot, so I'm kind of an expert. Um, I don't think it's the fact that your your stat is bad. I think that's bothersome, but not what leads to salt. I think it's when your stat is bad and then stays there. You know, when there's little stat movement. I think that's what makes the, the human brain go like, What are you doing? Like, we're in a... A bit of a slog here, and we're fighting Monstro, which is just embarrassing. Like, I don't want to use any more against you. I think we either need, like, Polyphemus, and just to go all in on being able to press space and kill enemies. Of course, I would take Polyphemus if it showed up, so just, you know, if you're looking for something to get me for Christmas this season, by all means. Um, or we, like, I'm telling you, I'm surprised with there's options. We haven't gotten a chance to take a single rate of fire. No demon hearts. To be fair, I didn't do that to get demon hearts. I just took damage like an idiot, but I was still kind of assuming some demon hearts would pop up once I realized what was happening. Well, uh, good news. 42.5% deal with the devil chance. Oh, you shouldn't have done that one. Um, that's okay, though. We're hoping to get some some Cambian Conception action. The map, that's actually really good. We know where we're going now. Get the heck out of town. Oh, let's go. Okay, so we're only gonna go back and play this thing once. But still, I'm just trying to see. The Cambian Conception work does not appear to have. Mama Gertie. We will get hurt against Mama Gertie. Oh my god, I moved, but got lucky. Like, look at the damage. I, <laughs> I'm trying. I genuinely am trying to contain the salt. But you know, a little bit of salt? You know what they call that? You know what they call properly seasoned food? Seasoned. I should have, I did this wrong. You know what they call, let me think. You know what they call properly salted food? Seasoned. Halo might have given us as much or almost as much rate of fire, but when you ask for a rate of fire upgrade and then one shows up, I think you gotta go with the one that you know is gonna be as good as possible. So, I've at least absolved myself on that front. Three range downgrades? Bit of a low roll. Oh, and a health downgrade as well. Still. That one single pickup almost doubled our DPS. So we can't afford... Yeah. Can't afford to play that anymore, because I think we have one HP now. 
I love when it works. We're not going to be able to rely on it too much longer. And in fact, in this room, we're good. Oh, God. No payout. Are you kidding me? I deserve that. I'm mad at myself. I, I know there was a demon heart back there. I played kind of terrible on this run, but simultaneously, dude. Wow. I mean, that's just an embarrassing loss. A loss, I should say. And moreover, it looks like this guy's looking down on me and just gaping himself wide open to give me a look on the inside. We'll be back refreshed and ready to go. There is some irony in that when I got what I wanted, that's when I died. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode in spite of my ineptitude. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!